What exactly is flashcard? So basically it's a tool that gives you mini tests. So based on all the meta-analysis, systematic reviews, we know that testing yourself not just measures learning, it creates memory, it creates learning. What flashcard does is it integrates two methods. It, uh, it adds space repetition with active recall. So now we will understand what active recall is. So to understand active recall, let's start with passive recall. What passive recall is? So suppose if I tell you in treatment resistant schizophrenia, the drug of choice is close up in. This is a passive recall. I've given you information, you have, you have learned it. Now when I ask you, what is the drug of choice in treatment resistant schizophrenia? And I give you a time to think. That process of you thinking and trying to recall the information is active recall. So what you do? You have to force the memory to trigger create karne ki, jis se aap, wo jo memory trace hai, that becomes consolidated and that active recall process creates a memory in you and that is called active recall. So flashcard as a tool, it integrates this method with space repetition. Now we will understand what is space repetition. So suppose aapko main bolu, Puri kitab aaj aapne padli. can you recall this in two days? You can probably. Can you recall this in two weeks? You may not be. And can you recall it in two months? Most of you will not be able to recall as it is. So what space repetition does is it distributes those memory traces into your learning and forgetting curve. So jabbi aap bhoolne wale hote ho, wo tabhi aapko recall karwa deta hai. So jaisi aap bhoologe, us point pe wo aapko yaad karwa dega. And then this space repetition with this active recall consolidates memory to a point that aapko kabhi clinics mein huye, kabhi high stress situation mein huye. To bhoologe nahi. Turant usi point pe you will recall that memory and that is how flashcards work.